Hands, head, and hips. I want to always have a handle on his hands. I want to feel that with my hips. My hips back up my grips. So I'm the grip me here. Your a standard arm bar, much like a choke or a sweep, I want to keep a control of his hands, his weapons. I'm reaching up, keeping the connection on his body. I don't want to reach and lose that the connection because his hands now are free to grip, pass, punch, strike. So I'm maintaining the connection on that and I'm gripping. Method arm bar one. I wrap, I'm wrapping my hand around, moving my body, and locking it behind his elbow. As I pull him in using legs and grip, I release and I step, keeping a pinch. Your back leg starts to climb. I shoot my hip in a little deeper. I slide across to reach up, trapping his head out of the blocking of the arm bar. I make the switch here. I'm keeping my knees pinched. I reach up as if I'm but defying gravity, as if my hips are going to launch in the air. And as I reach up, this leg grabs his head as if it were a headlock. My knees are pinched tight. My heels pull down. My, my, my foot flares out, blocking his stack. If I'm here, he's got a stack. My hip locks up and I'm flaring it out, blocking that stack. Now I want to drive my arm bar mountward. Next arm bar in here. I'm holding his wrist. I make a switch and I reach across and I grip. Either on the wrist or on the lapel. I mean, Either on the wrist or on the sleeve, I reach across and I grip. I lock it in. Using my body and pull, I shift and I want it pulled up tight. Uh, I want his hand to answer the phone in my ear. Then I reach across and I replace that grip here and I shift the arm over. Using my legs and my reach, I hook the armpit. I unlock and place this foot on the hip. This leg climbs and presses away. I push onto the head and the neck, make the trap. If his other arm is active up over here, maybe I'll just attack it. Otherwise, I'm reaching across, I'm climbing. Again, big hip movement. My hip reaches up, makes a big swing. Our spines now, are almost 90 degrees. I don't want to be here. I want to be here. I can hook up and I grab that leg. I block it. I usually do not reach under because I don't want that arm trapped. Because they trap it and then I've lost a weapon. I want to keep it active and alive, monitoring his hip or his leg. Pick that up and I'm into my arm bar. The a flash arm bar. In the melee of ruling, I'm after a choke or whatever I want. I go from zero to arm bar. No steps in between. Zero to arm bar. Working off over here. I'm wanting to get something. He goes into posture. I'm back up over here. Zero to arm bar. That's your standard arm bar, basic fundamental set. There's many more, but that from there, all the other little small stuff builds. The key principles are hands, head, and hips. I want to be aware of what my head's doing, my hips, and my hand, my grips. And so, it, like in, in all of it, I'm feeling his hips with my hips. I feel when he's in great posture, neutral posture, or low posture. And I want to feel these things where I have adjustments on that. Maybe I'm working up over in the arm bar here and I got the sleeve. I'm trying to get the arm bar, he goes into posture. Right as he goes into posture, I make the shift, we'll grip at the pants. Now, 
I may unlock, shift up my hip, and boom. I go to sweep or back. He battles it. I'm going to use my legs and hips here. You see, I'm holding my feet on his hips. I want him to earn that rise. As he earns that rise, I get my shift, and I'm back into arm bar. Cross climb and clamp arm bar. I've got the wrists. Again, I'm going to cross his arms. I start my climb. Either one rapid climb, or I'm climbing up the pole. It's once I'm up over one arm up, hip, uh, up in here, my hips are active. Not lazy hips. My hips are up high and active. I start my turn. Shift it. Or back to arm. Again, the foot flares out, blocking that stack. Control the leg. 